In this tutorial, you will learn on how to paint a seashell, books, and most of all, the lighting and shadings. My name is John Melisondra and today I'm going to demonstrate on how to paint a still life painting. So today's sub subject guys is all about seashell books and I'm going to demonstrate on how to paint the lights and shades. Okay, so but before that I am going to introduce to you first my materials. I have here my paint palette. I have the titanium white, the hollow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the lamp black. So you also observe guys that I am always using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay. And these are the possible brushes that, that I'm going to use in this tutorial. I have here the number 11 brush, um, nylon flat brush, long handled. Number 8 nylon flat brush, long handled. And number 8 nylon flat, flat brush, short handled. Number 4 um, nylon round brush for the details, short handled, and number one liner brush for the details. Okay, and this is my canvas, guys. It's 8 by 10 inches. It's a, it's a straight cut of prime gesso. I made it myself. You can also use um, white acrylic water, guys, to thin the paint. And if ever we need water spray for a uh, white, wet, um, um, surface that must be um, better okay and chalk guys to for the sketching okay so I think I am done with my um, introduction so I think I'm going to start now with the background color first so I'm gonna do a dark background guys red reddish um, dark background so I'm going to no I'm um, I think uh, something like a maroon or brown background okay so I'll be using this first the uh, number 11 flat brush long handled okay so let's start painting the background here guys there so let's add the red first this time guys I'm going to add more red Touch it so here I'm gonna mix for red and black to have a darker um, color there and I'm going to add a little blue on this part and another blue here touch it okay so let's continue adding more brown color here So I'm adding more red here. It's a brown color, guys. Just use the red and black here. There. Need some blue color here. Need some red. And uh, maroon. No, I'm um, brown color. Sorry, guys. Here. I think I'm going to add more red here with some blue color. The blue color guys will make the the red a uh, darker here. That's it. So 
so just make the color solid guys okay and some more right here going to add more red and the maroon the black Okay, so here's the background color of so I'm gonna add more red. So here I have the red and the yellow. I'm gonna make some brown guys, I'm gonna add some white, more yellow here, there. yellow here there then we're gonna add a little black guys in yellow the base will be darker here Touch it. We add more black here. Some yellow and white to make some lighter. To have a lighter base color here. Okay. So again, guys, just blend the colors. Blend it well so that it will become more solid. So that's what I'm doing right now. I am just blending the colors here, okay? Okay. So I'm going to put the books here first, then we're gonna put on top of it the, the seashell, okay? Okay, that's it guys. So I think we're gonna leave, we're gonna need to let it dry first for at least five minutes, then we're gonna go back adding more details. But first we're gonna do the sketching first, then to the details. Okay, so let it dry first guys. Okay guys, so I think the paint is already dry now and I'm going to start adding the details. So I'm going to do the sketching first, which is I'm going to use um, a chalk here. So I have a small chalk guys and you can choose any color of your truck okay so i'm going to start now i am going to do first the the books then i'm gonna add the so here i'm going to put the books here first So we should be a little um, careful with the perspective guys. Actually I'm just using my um, I'm not having any I didn't add any lines or perspective lines guys for this. So we just we just have to estimate where are we going to put the Uh, perspective okay. oh, I mean the, the lines so we're going to connect it here and I'm going to give you the a traceable guys for this 
so that you you won't need to okay. you do not need to to do to do what I did. Okay. Okay. So uh, I'm not sure if it's correct. So I think I uh, just hope it's correct. So maybe I'll just adjust it a little here. Anyway, I'm going to adjust later guys if something is wrong. So, it's a trial and error method guys. So, I am thinking also where I'm going to put my light. Okay, here. So. This is another book guys on top of it of the other one. So I'm still not sure if I'm doing if I am right. Okay, maybe maybe I am. Or maybe not. Here. So I think I'm going to okay. So I'm not sure. Maybe I'm going to adjust a little. I'm going to adjust a little bit, guys, with the perspective. So here, with a, I'm going to move it down here and here. Oh, I think it's really dirty now. <laughs> okay, that's it. So way better than the other one. Uh, here there Now I'm going to add the sh shell on top of it. So this is going to be a very huge shell, guys. On top of the book. There. So that's, that will be my shell. So anyway, you guys, we're going to have a trial and error method here. So yeah, you don't, you don't have to worry about the sketching, guys. I will give you the traceable. But I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, what do you call this? Um, going to recommend you guys that you do it on freehand. Okay. So this will be the shield. will be a shield guys on top of the book there that's it okay that's it so you know the sketch which is the first step okay and let's go on. I'm going to add the, the details now I'm going to start drawing a painting and I'm gonna do first the uh, books, okay? Okay, guys, so let's start painting. And I'll be using this brush, which is the number 8 flat brush, it's long handled. And I'm gonna do the. the uh, maybe, guys, I'm going to erase first some 
so that uh, to avoid confusion guys so I'm, I am using um, a wet brush here so that the, we can easily erase the, the details of the chalk there so it's easier to to erase the details guys or the sketch using a wet brush So just follow what I'm doing guys. There. Okay. So it's all up to you guys. Um the thickness of your of your book. Okay, so you have another book. So we should always be careful on the perspective. There. So maybe, okay, that will be fine. Okay. So that's it. So we have now the sketch. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with the shell. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to start with the shell first before... Um, before doing the books painting the books but first I'm going to zoom in so that you can see clearly okay that's it so I hope that it I hope that this is very clear to you guys okay and let's start painting okay so I am thinking guys where I'm going to put the light so maybe I'm going to put the light on top on top here yeah that's what I'm going to think uh, yeah this will be on top of it here on this part guys yeah so that will be my plan so I think I'm going to use the red here there and some yellow color so I'm going to put some orange guys on the on here there there so so this will be a little um light guys on these parts um let's just say that there will be a uh, um, the shell is a little um, thin, so that's why I'm going to add some color here, there, and I'm going to add some white here, the color with some yellow. Okay, so I'm going to put a lighter, um, a highlight first, guys, here on top of the shell. There. So I'm going to mix it with brown. So I'm going to add some black here there so I'm adding the highlights first guys but later don't worry about it we're going to put the, the, the shades later we're going to retouch okay so in case just follow what I'm doing and I hope you enjoy this moment while you are painting and do not stress yourself guys if ever you you uh, something's wrong or something's off with your painting do not stress yourself just relax and you can actually um retouch and change or cover if you see something's wrong okay here let's add some yellow is color there so again guys the same color just red um yellow and white 
and a little amount of black to make it brownish okay, here touch it and also here there and another one here so here guys I am teaching you to paint uh, a realistic painting and I have a reference on this guys um, I, I, I get it on the Pixabay but I am composing all this thing here like actually the, the, the especially the shadow guys and the highlights I changed the highlights and also the box is different uh, it's from the different picture so it's not it will it won't be similar on the on the on the reference okay, here I'm going to mix for brown I'm going to use the black the yellow and the red so I'll be mixing for a grayish brown guys and I'm going to add some white here so this will be a grayish brown yeah so as you see guys it's a little grayish so yeah I'm going to add here that only that is too bright there it okay so we're going to adjust the light so I'm going to add some bluish color guys with the brown so just add a, a little amount of blue on, the, on your brown color so here so this part should be a little dark Okay. So again guys just follow what I'm doing and enjoy um, every moment guys while you're painting. Okay, yeah. I'll just blend it um good. Okay, so you have another shell. And here we can add a little bluish color. And of course here. Okay, so you have another shell. And here guys we're going to put some dark tones, so we need to use the black here with some red. So it will be a dark brown guys. So here, more red. And black. There. And I'm going to add some lighter color here. this part should be a little dark okay so I think I'm going to start adding the, some more shades now so here I'm going to use the number 8 flat brush guys so I am going to add a little br a bluish color guys on this part here so this there will be two light source on this painting so some bluish color here and some a natural light here on the right side. I don't know, guys, what will um, 
to be the result here I am actually experimenting now so I'm going to use the blue color so I'm going to just uh, mix it with this existing color here so I'm going to use the bluish color guys now and I'm going to add a little color blue color here just a small amount of blue guys and also here there another blue color here there and of course here so just make it some sort of small lines guys so from top from top to bottom there something like that yeah and of course here also there some sort of line there okay and also another one here and here it is an, some bluish color let's add some bluish color here here also just a little amount of blue color and here and here so here we, we have now the bluish color and here also guys And I'm going to add more white on the blue color so that I can, I'm going to add a, a little highlight here, a lighter color. And of course, here. There. So we have now uh, a little highlights. And it looks realistic. Okay, so next we're going to add some highlights here, but first you need to clean your brush, guys. Make sure there's no blue on the, on that on that on the bristle or on the on the hair. Okay, I'll be using the white, of course, doing some yellow. So I'll just use this existing color here, guys. Existing orange color. It will be something like a yellowish light yellowish color here okay so here let's put something some stripes guys like what we did here there some stripes that's it and also here some small stripes there there just some small stripes guys to create textures on the shell there touch it and here I'm gonna add some stripes there touch it so another stripes here guys I think guys our brush is way bigger or huge for this job So maybe we need to use another brush and if you are having a hard time using this brush guys you can use another brush like the number one liner brush that will be better okay so we have now the light
that's it so i'll be using another brush guys the number four round brush this brush is um, will be good for this job and i will use this one and let's add some highlights here there that's it and here and add some there some more highlights here some lines guys make it a little curvy yeah zigzag something like that there okay so I just make sure guys that the video is very sharp here so I'm add more stripes here that's it so you should be always be careful guys in adding the highlights do not make it um, too exaggerated here that's it Okay. Here. And I'm going to use a pure white here, guys. Just a pure white here. To create very highlights or a lighter highlights or the sharper highlights. There. That's it. Okay. This is just uh, this is a pure white, guys. So just follow what I'm doing. Just use a pure white also here and here. There. And of course something here. Here. That's it. Here of course. Okay. Another one here. Okay, so we have no uh, highlights on top of our shell. Sounds sounds nice. Looks nice. <laughs> Sorry. And now we're going to add more details. So I'll be using a brown guys here. So make sure you 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 clean your brush. So here some brown and some black color, and some yellow, more red, more yellow. So it will be some brown guys. I'm going to add more highlights here. I oh, know um shades. I'm sorry guys. It shades. I'm going to add some shades here. So here. Okay. I'm very sorry. Okay. Let's continue. here guys some some shades using brown color there and also here there and here of course okay I'm going to add more yellow guys and the color and some black and some white and more yellow there so again here I'm going to add some shade some some lines there 
and here also there and of course here and also here ok that's it and here guys I'm going to I'm going to blend a little here with this color to make this part lighter yeah that looks nice ok guys so I think I'm going to erase some oh no maybe later with erase later guys the chalks and I think I'm going to proceed with the uh, with the uh, here with the uh, going to proceed uh, with the uh, um but the books So I will be using this number 8 flat brush. Okay. And this color guide, the same color that we use here for the highlights. So I'm gonna put the. Uh, no, before guys, I'm going to point down so that we can see clearly. There. think that would be very clear okay and I'll be using this brush again and some yellow color with some red to make it a little orange and white here okay more more white with a little I'm oh, sorry guys with a little with a little yellow and red okay so it's like a light flesh color guys so you don't have to you don't have to add the black just pure red and yellow and here let's add some highlights on our book there that's it Okay, and also this one. Okay, this one, this tutorial guys, is a little hard, but I think uh, it's worth to try. This will be um, a little advanced um, tutorial. But it is, it, this will be a challenge for beginners. If you want to try, then just try. Do not be afraid to, to to try, guys. Okay, here so. So here guys I'm going to mix for a bluish color but I'll be using a bigger brush this brush guys so I think I'm going to mix for a bluish color here it's um, of course blue and red no I mean I mean 
black and white there and let's also add a little red color more white there so it's a little violet guys with black so still a gray color for me there okay so just follow guys So all you have to do is just throw the light here, paint the light I mean. it and also the other one here okay yeah I'm going to add a little white So later guys we're going to add a little brownish on this color. I think it's too it's too blue or yeah something like that. Okay. Oh that's it. And I think I'm going to add a blue um, color of the book, guys. Yeah, on top of the on top here, so it will be a blue book. Okay, so of course I'm going to use the blue here with some um, white there, just blue and white. And this is apply here. There. So just be careful, guys. Do not pray it. Okay, here. That's it. Then I'm going to use a blue with a little amount of red here. There. And it's going to apply here. With a little amount of white. You can use a smaller brush guys if you are having a hard time using this kind of brush. Actually I am having a hard time. So smaller brush would be way better than this one. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, that's it. I think I'm going to use a smaller brush, guys. And I'll be using this brush, the number four flat brush. No, round brush, I'm sorry. Okay. So I'm going to adding more more brown. Oh no, um blue with some red guys to 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 use for dark tones. And let's put it here. And here, of course. Okay. And let's add some shades, guys. I'm going to use some black, darker color, darker blue color here. So just dark blue color for this part to create the casted shadow of the seashell guys here. This tutorial guys will not be that easy but I think it, it this will be worth it if you're gonna try it. Okay, so no. So I think I'm going to use another blue guys with some white. Okay here. I'm going to add some more highlights here. fluid okay. and here so again guys just add white to the blue color to the tall blue so that you can have the highlights here just like what I'm doing now okay so we just have to fill it up yeah because so my my light is the the position of my light is kind of here guys on top right side that's why we have here the the highlights something like that and here also here okay and also here and of course also here guys more highlights okay that's it yeah okay and I'm going to use a blue color here And let's put something here. I'll be using the blue guys here. There. And also here. nice yeah okay so here guys next I'm going to make a uh, I think what I'm going to make the the other book like green maybe 
yeah I think it, it will be n n uh, nice for green color so of course I'm going to use the the yellow and some blue color here there and some white of course to make it lighter there I hope you can see guys okay so it will be a light green first and let's put something here okay I'm going to add some white So I'm using uh, the same color, the same brush, guys. The number four flat brush. You can also use uh, the smaller brush, guys, which is the the number one liner brush. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. This is not a flat brush. This is a round brush. Here. Again here also. There. So here guys I am actually teaching you now um how to paint realism. Okay. So here. So you're not a green book. Okay. And we're going to use a darker green color guys so that we can have a darker shade of green. So I'm going to use the blue again with some yellow and some red, little amount of red color there. And a little amount of red white. I hope you can see guys there. And let's put it here. Here. Okay. here that's it and here guys on the bottom just make a line straight it and here of course okay some green here okay so you have now the green book we have the green and the blue book okay yeah, we're almost done, guys. And I'll be using uh, the smaller brush, guys, to erase some chalks so here. It's a wet brush, guys. And it will be easy to erase the, the chalk here. Just use a wet brush. There. Okay. 
I think we're almost done guys but first I'm going to add some highlights here at the bottom yeah some highlights and I'm going to use the blue color here with some white of course no I'm not sorry guys it's not blue but it's some yellowish color or red this so I'm gonna use this red here with some yellow and white and the black but first I think I'm going to zoom out so that you can see clearly there yeah so here with some white and more red here guys there and I'm going to make it a little with, a, with, with um, some yellowish color just add some yellow guys So since we have the light here, so we need to make it lighter. There. So just glaze it guys. And I'm going to make this part a little bluish. So we're going to mix for a little bluish color. Here. I'm going to add some blue and some red color, of course. And some white. There. I think it's too much guys I'm going to add a little black on it and some red and some white yeah it's too much I think so just make it a little bluish but not too blue there So just have to glaze and blend it the colors here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure guys, but I'm going to add more yellow, a red and white. I think it's too much again. And here guys I'm going to add some shadows so it will be a little brownish on the book guys here so I'm gonna mix for brown black yellow and red 
we need a little amount of white uh, let's put it here no it should be darker put some shades here there so just some lines guys on the book there that's it what else so I am thinking guys actually guys I am just retouching so actually I am done with this one and I'm going to retouch some parts especially the, the white here so I'm going to retouch here okay Just some uh, accidents, yeah. Okay. So I think I'm going to add a little bluish color here. Here, so I'm just using some blue or some bluish color, guys. So I think we need to spray it with water so that it will blend easily. There. That's it. Some blue color. So we just have to blend here. Just a little amount of blue, guys. There. Okay. So, so that will uh, balance the light. And also here I'm going to add some red, some reddish color, darker red. There. Okay, I think. I okay, guys. So I think I am done with my painting demonstration today. And I love the result guys, um, I love the lighting, I love the, the highlights and the shades, so I think this is a su successful tutorial guys. And and if you wanna paint with me guys, just, just follow what I did in that video and my advice guys is to, is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you know how to mix the colors, that's why I'm using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay guys, please hit like, add some comments, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you so much guys. Have a nice day and God bless you all.